All right, so this is what our uh, sign up or registration form looks like. So this is basically the official one. You just go to the page. So basically, you take a name, you take an email address, and you just go on next. That should have some validation, obviously. Password, and then you check, click whether or not you want to be a tutor or whatever. Then you create that account or you register or whatever. But I don't think I'm going to go with that for this uh for the one that we're working on this that we're using is basically just a window component that that beautify has so it's just a preview you just have to customize it to your own liking so it's i think it's in groups and you see windows and uh you'll be able to see that that component it's really 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 great helper combo you just need to know how to customize it for your own liking obviously so this is it this is what it looks like initially you just have to customize it to the way that you want right so that's about that what i'm going to do for for our login page and the server is just running so it hasn't really come up just yet i am basically just going to create a very simple one because i don't want to I'm thinking of not like identically mimicking the one that we would have already created. So from here, we have a registration uh, component, our page here, and it's the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing as the login form, except we just switch around the title. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to, I am going to basically just, let me see here. So you see that the server hasn't started just yet. Cause I'm gonna look at what it is. So what we want is an, a name. So down here, I'm gonna get rid of this. There are some stuff that definitely needs to get rid of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a a data property in here. Our function and. Uh, just grab the information that we're that we need i want to call this registration and uh, pretty sure this should have a colon here and what we want in the registration is we want a name which is going to be a string we want an email i will probably could take first name or last name but i was experimenting something so that's why i'm using just the first name just name so that's for the full name so name email password and we also want to confirm we also want to confirm the password so confirm password or password confirm whichever already you want to put it in that's fine so this is pretty much what we what we need to register and what i think i'm going to do to supplement the back end is to actually just stuff all of this information in local storage and once it is found in local storage and that means the user is authenticated i just think it's just a simple way to do the authentication or or we could do a google login which is something i've been really considering so one thing i want to get rid of is this tool part here because it's definitely not needed so when i get rid of that the spacer Mm, I guess we can leave that for now. We can leave that for now. Over here is to just to add some more fields. So this is definitely not going to be logging. What this is, this label is going to be for the name. So we're gonna take the name of the user. I will just call it name. And we can change this to I think it's user. Or is it account? I think I think it's account. So let's just leave it as a as account. And that is text. And then we can put our V module on here. Align this properly. I'll put a V model. This V model is going to be on registration that name. And then we're gonna follow the same uh, order, pretty much the same order. Password is, is the same, it's pretty much the same. We're just gonna change this ID to V model. 
this is going to be registration registration that password and then I can pretty much just copy uh, one of these and just use it in the same in the same way so the next thing is that we want well actually we want we want to have the email right between here this is going to be email this is going to be email here as well and here also and this also will be email and uh, finally it's just a password confirm so this will be password so we're going to change the type the password and uh, this will be a lock. I think we can do an outline lock, outlined, and uh, this will be MD lock. This will be the outline lock, and uh, this is going to be password confirm or re enter password or confirm password. For confirm password, just to key the pattern, and then we just call this confirm underscore password. And that should be that. So we're just gonna create a very, very simple form in just uh, one order. So we have the pick the name, and well, actually we need one other thing is that we wanna check whether or not the user is is a if they wanna register as a tutor or a student. So this is still loading. I'm pretty sure. In the meantime, let's just go to here and find forms, input forms. And we're gonna look for radio buttons because that was, was what I used. It was much simpler because I was having some issues. So I just go ahead and go for radio buttons. And this is the one that I want the monetary one. They have to have either or either. And by default, what I'm gonna have it set to is is we're gonna have it set to to a student by default. Let's put it right here. I'm gonna have to obviously refactor this code. Put it look a little bit better. I think we missed something. We don't need a template. We don't need a container as well. We're just gonna push this in. We don't need yeah, as I said, we don't need a container. Let's get rid of that. We don't need a paragraph tags either. So let's get rid of these. We need the radio group. The V button is going to be on type, I guess we could put it as. We're going to need, what is it? For two sets, actually. So down here, we're going to go for, I don't know, we just put type there. For now, and uh, type will be zero by default. Type so here we're gonna have uh, the V model is gonna be on type. So for the value, I'm gonna put zero here, and for this value, I'm gonna put one. So this will be our uh, tutor. So we're gonna change this to tutor. And uh, we're going to change this to student. As I said, by default, it's going to be student. So that's why I put the value here as zero. So it's going to grab from the type and this should be registration. It should be registration type. That type, so it actually picks up the right thing. We're going to say registration that type. We're going to check. The values here to see if which one of them match so by default it's zero but we're gonna so it's basically gonna be passed here and then we're gonna slip it's gonna automatically just select the student however if it changes to, to one so when you click on on uh, the uh, radio button and it goes to one then obviously it's gonna be for the tutor so basically we're just going to create a very very simple form
one other thing that I think I may need to do is to actually put this within the form because this is going to be a submit and as a result we're going to need to have it I think we're going to need to have it within the form I don't think we're going to be unless let's see here okay so it's finished great let's go ahead now and actually save all of these information because we have really saved it so save that and it's going to reload again that is reloading i am going to go here let's click on enter all right so we seem to have a an error here see the bigger one we don't have any closing tags for for the toolbar i may have accidentally got rid of the toolbar let's see here this is it okay so what i need to do is just to close this one here so the v toolbar so we're gonna keep the toolbar we're just not we just we're just getting rid of the stuff that were already in there save this All right, so here we go. Let's go to the register page. And uh, we seem to have nothing here. So there is an error. All right, so it seems like it wasn't an error. I guess it just did not load uh, completely. So it wasn't really an error. But as you can see here, we have where the form set up. We get the name email password password confirm or confirm password and we have tutor or whatever selected so i want to see if i can figure out what's wrong with this i'm wondering if it's not a full out oh I, I left off the e so put the e there save that All right, so it's still not working, so try without the D and save. There we go. All right, there we go. So, no D. Uh, one thing that's missing from this here is that I want to link them back uh, Link them back to the sign-in page. So it's the final thing that I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna copy that from From here. So this was right under the form and as you can see here We don't necessarily need well, maybe we do but eventually we'll figure that out so I'm gonna remove it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. We're still within the cortex and uh, I'm gonna copy cut that and just put it back right here. This is the option. So we're gonna say I already have an account. Already have an account. Then we're just gonna send them to well, it's the home page. We're gonna create a separate page for the sign in, but for now we're just gonna send them to the home page. And we're just gonna say sign, sign in. And uh, we can go ahead and save this now. And there we go. Awesome. So now we have the link back to the sign in page. So we can say sign in, register. So we're going to look at, eventually, we're going to look at how we collect the data, the data and all stuff like that. But for now, this is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.